Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every single reading is for you. Don't try to make this reading for you. If it's for you, then fine. If it's not, so be it. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Pisces? It's going to be delivered in the upright position. If it comes out reversed, uh, we will consider it, but we're just going to see what happens. But what do we got for Pisces? November 18th through the 24th. Anxiety. So we got some worry here. We got some worry. We got some anxiety, some stress. We got somebody here that is... Especially at night, it feels like at night time, you know, very, very worried what's going to happen. Uh, thinking about the past, thinking about the future, thinking about everything. Thinking um, about the challenges, very, very worried. Um, may even have some sort of regrets by the looks of things. Very much in a state of contemplation. All right, so definitely doing a lot of thinking this week. Worried. Money path. Woo! A path with money is waiting for you to find it, Pisces. So it's like the, there's probably an opportunity that you need to explore. You haven't found it yet. There's probably uh, something that you're not seeing. You need to you need to do some brainstorming. Maybe maybe something will come to you at night. Maybe during your little thinking process, you will get some sort of new idea that could make you money. And if you do, you should run with it. What do we got? Wedge. Ooh, someone is trying to come between you and a friend, or something you want. So something is trying to come between you and another person. They're trying to stop it. They're trying to stop something from happening. One more card, please, or however many come out. Pisces. Man. Dealings or relationship with a man, and you could be dealing with an Aries because Aries just got this card. So you could be dealing with a man that is causing you some sort of anxiety. This man be, could be causing a wedge for you. This man could be the one that could help you to make money. They could, they could give you an idea or something or give you an opportunity. This person could lead to an opportunity for money. <laughs> I just happened to look at the bottom of this deck and I never ever do. But I got to show it to you. Is that going to focus or what? A rat. Someone working against you behind your back. You're dealing with a rat. Huh. Well, that's interesting. My my Mars is in Pisces, by the way. Hierophant. The Hierophant reversed. Now this is a social pressure. The Hierophant reversed is someone is having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure. Somebody may be being controlled by a father figure. Um, this person is questioning his own authority and he's trying to prove his authority. Somebody may be disgraced during this time. They may be feeling disgraced. There could be a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Somebody may be very worried about being disgraced. They could be. If we have a rat in the mix, rats, what do they do? They cause nothing but problems. But a rat usually tells 
tells, right? You know what a rat is. Woo! Woo! Something is about to be revealed with the moon card reversed, Pisces. This is some sort of truth coming out. It can't be hidden anymore. The light is about to be shed on something that is going to cause somebody to be disgraced. And somebody is probably really worried about it. They may have sensed it was coming. And the rat, what is a, a rat? Tells. That's what a rat does. If you think about rat, everybody knows what a rat is. A rat tells. So something is going to be told. Something is going to be told. The truth is going to be told. And there's, there's somebody's going to feel absolutely socially disgraced over what is told. Well, there's been an injustice. There's been an injustice here. Somebody absolutely, positively, 100% has not been telling the truth. And it's funny, I have never looked at the bottom of this deck. I decided to look. Somebody is going to look a little bit deeper and the truth is going to come out. So this is this is an authority. The Hierophant is the highest authority, but this is in reverse. Somebody's like somebody has been trying to gain authority in the wrong manner by lies and deception and deceit and lack of integrity and not telling the truth and trying to skirt around the system, trying to do things the wrong way, trying to hide things. There's been a lot of deception here, and here comes the truth. Whoever has been lying is about to get some karma. And it doesn't appear that it's going to be pretty. I don't think it is. I really don't. So, wow. Wow. Some secret or lie is about to be revealed by a rat. This has, this is going to bring you love. This is new love. This is new love. This is self love. This is emotional support. This is going to help things to get better because when whatever is revealed is going to, is going to make things better, believe it or not, because this make, this is, this is, uh, a new opportunity for love. Okay. This is love and compassion. Now, these two cards together, this is like the Justice and the Minor Arcana. This is the Major Arcana. This is the Minor Arcana. So, I mean, take a look. Scale. Somebody. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. It absolutely is not good, Pisces. Somebody's going to experience loss. And it's because they didn't act with integrity. They didn't do the right thing. There's going to be a rejection of some sort. There's been a lack of balance. There's going to be unbalanced. Things are going to be turned upside down. It's going to be crazy weak. I'm sorry, but it is. Something's going to be taken away. And given to somebody else, or given in a diff to some place, something's going to be taken away. But it's all in the name of love. It is all in the name of love. Somebody has been in a one-sided situation where there was no reciprocation. They've been hiding the truth. But now somebody's going to get a golden opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. This is that new door, new path opening up. This, this is something that you can take to the bank. This is, this is something you're going to receive some sort of gift. And, and it's crazy that you're going to receive a gift. But this is a gift. So somebody is going to receive a gift.
but there is a loss here. Somebody didn't get what they deserved. Somebody is not getting what they deserve, or they didn't get what they deserved. And now they have a new path opening up. This is a golden opportunity for love, for real love. This is real, and this is love. So this is a golden opportunity for real love. Now this... Somebody's been trapped. Now this is prison. This is my prison card. It's trapped. This is prison. Somebody didn't get what they would deserve. There was an injustice. Somebody didn't treat another person fairly. Now somebody's going to receive a reward which is big love. The truth is coming out. It can no longer be hidden. Something is about to be revealed. Something has kept another person stuck. They've been tied up. They've been refusing to see. Staying in a situation that was keeping them confined. Somebody was confined. Confined by their thoughts. Maybe even their fears. Could have been a fear of commitment. Somebody may have, may have been fearful of commitment. Somebody is definitely having regrets and thinking about the injustice, thinking about the unfairness, thinking about the lies. Now, there, there we go. This is somebody is feeling. This is somebody that is thinking about love, wanting love. Looking for love. Has a lot of love to offer. But definitely trapped in their thoughts and fearful of commitment. Definitely fearful of commitment. Reluctant to take a new approach, right? Reluctant, staying in a troubled situation because they'd have to face their fears, they'd have to face the f anxiety is fear. So we got somebody here that sees an opportunity for love and they want this love and there is a golden opportunity to get it, but it's like they can't take action because of their own thoughts. Swords are thoughts. Swords are thoughts. And it's like... Reluctant. This is reluctant to take a new approach. Refusing to take a new approach. You know? It's like you need to take a new approach. Things are so unharmonious. No harmony. No harmony. No harmony. No balance. Woo! We have the end of something. We could have the end of, well, this is a transformation. This is the end of something significant. This is a major life change. Something is changing. Something is coming to an end. Somebody has been living in some sort of illusion. This is illusion. This is fantasy land. There may have been some sort of manipulation. But I think that we have somebody here that has manifested something. I think that you have manifested something. You have manifested a new opportunity that could lead you to love. But you don't get there until after something ends. Because there is an opportunity for love here. But somebody has to take the initiative to move out of this troubled situation that they are in. It could be a false commitment. It's like, I think that we have somebody here that is realizing the truth about love. Because this is realizing the truth about love. And they may have been living in some sort of illusion. But it's like now there's an opportunity. There is a golden opportunity here for you, Pisces.
Now, this is somebody who is willing to shed the old and bring in the new. We could be dealing with Gemini. Just saying. This is Gemini. Somebody didn't get what they deserved with the Six of Coins reversed and the Justice reversed. Somebody was treated unfairly. Big time. But anyway, this magician, this is this is somebody that is like magic, right? Do you believe in magic? I don't know where that came from. That just came out of my mouth. There's some sort of magic here. There's uh, somebody, it's like somebody's uh, wish is being granted. They have an opportunity to, to have their dreams fulfilled, to go after their wishes and get the love that they want or that they deserve. But there is an ending here. This is a death. The death is an ending. Endings lead to new beginnings. That is, I mean, death is death. You can't change the meaning of the freaking card. So something is coming to an end that was an illusion. Confusion. Confusion and illusion is coming to an end. This is peace. A rainbow is a symbol, a symbol of peace. It's the difficulty is over. A difficult situation is coming to an end. But somebody has to move on from their, their thoughts, their 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 illusions, their their mentality, you know, their fears. And somebody is letting their fears of commitment and marriage or whatever the hell it is get in the way of big love. There could be a, a marriage or a commitment that is coming to an end. There could be a divorce here or a split. There could be some upcoming legal issues. This is legal issues and this is legal issues. So there could be a divorce here on the table or somebody filing papers for something. There could be a court issue here. But something is absolutely coming to, end, to an end. Somebody has been stuck in a really bad situation. But that is coming to an end. The difficulty is over. You're getting what you asked for. You asked for this. Here it is. Here's your gift. This is your gift. You're going to be receiving some sort of gift. Could be a gift of money. Because we got this money path here. Could be a new job. A new job opportunity. Somebody has been becoming... Been... Been coming in between you and another person could have even been yourself could have been your own fears who knows what it is but i feel as though there's a new opportunity for love here that you can really take to the bank right this is something that you can bank on this is stable this is solid something that could last for a very very long time it's big 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 So I think that you guys are headed towards peace, you're headed towards love, you're headed towards something abundant. You really are. This is love, abundance, peace, but something is ending first. Let's clarify that death card. What is that death card? Ooh, ooh, the Queen of Cups reverse. It's a loveless situation. We have a loveless situation that is coming to an end. A false contract of some sort is coming to an end. Somebody is giving up. I just I just cut the deck to the eight of coins reverse. Somebody has given up. They're not they're just giving up. It's like this isn't love, I'm I'm done. This is done. That was false. It was false. It was I was all fake. They're giving up on a fake situation. So Pisces, I feel I feel as though this is a week of receiving something that you have wanted, you have asked for. Something is being revealed that was hidden. It's going to lead you down a new path. This new path is, is big love. 
There's definitely been an injustice here. There's been lies. There's been deception. Somebody didn't get what they deserved. And we have somebody here that may have some regrets. They may have some fear, fear of rejection, because this is rejection. The six of this is this is rejection, the six of pentacles reversed. But if you take action, action, this is a person that takes action to bring success. So somebody taking action brings them a golden opportunity for love. So I feel as though there is some sort of truth that is going to come out this week that basically gives you this opportunity that you have been waiting for. You may have been scared of it. I think we got somebody here that's coming out of a loveless situation too. This is a loveless situation that was based on an illusion. This is an illusion. Somebody made a poor choice. They probably have some sort of regrets. and that, But it's coming to an end. I want love. I'm going after love. So I feel like this is an opportunity for love this week for you. Somebody is coming in that has a really, really big heart. They have good intentions. And they think they're probably going to express themselves. So I think there's going to be an expression of love this week. Good luck.